Good morning. This is the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Wednesday, June 24th. Impact-wise, it will be lightning today, a frontal system coming through. Wet or lightning to the north across Idaho, but it'll be uh, across Nevada that will have issues today. Northern Nevada pushing into parts of maybe the higher terrain of central Utah, especially tomorrow as this slides through. Uh, expecting quite a bit of lightning strikes. Uh, fuels are marginal in some places, critically dry in others. We'll look at that in a while. It'll start shifting and tapering off uh, later on Friday. Uh, over the past 24 hours, we had quite a bit of lightning and showers develop along the Sierra front. You see the uh, lightning map through here. Most of it stayed on the California side. A few of them popped over into the Nevada side. There were a few starts, as well as over the central mountains of uh, Nevada. Some strikes also across the Uintas. Uh, fuels there are wetter. Uh, new fire starts in the red. You can see some of those along the Sierra front and scattered about in all other areas, mainly across the southern half of the area. Precipitation, um, not much over the last seven days, basically south of the I-80 corridor. Uh, if we expand that to the 14-day outlook, it looks um, almost identical. Uh, again, along the northern tier of Nevada is where we uh, have fuels that are more moist. So again, current uh, ERC conditions, uh, critically dry across the southern third of the area, marginal across the middle third. Uh, you can see a lot of the ERCs in the 80th to 90th percentile down south, and it will be in that zone, that zone that will be concerned with lightning in the short term and possibly some strong winds for the weekend. 10-hour fuels quite dry in these red areas, 3 to 4% 10-hour uh, fuels. Uh, moistens up a bit uh, in the finer fuels further northwards. Satellite imagery shows that frontal system coming through the Pacific Northwest and some instability ahead of it in this cloud band. We expect some lightning to develop with this cloud band here and another one with this front across northwestern Nevada later this afternoon. So with the weather map this afternoon, you see the trough of low pressure. You also see the moisture developing with the afternoon uh, convective activity, activity with thunderstorms. Here is where we have high risk for a good portion of northern Nevada. Lightning, uh, not much rain, a couple of hundreds here and there, but uh, if there are any heavy soakers, they'll be few and far between. So we could see probably our biggest lightning outbreak of the season so far in the next two days. On the left-hand side, the precipitation map shows it. These are very light amounts scattered about. Uh, winds overall not too bad. Uh, however, in the vicinity of thunderstorms, there will be some brief gusty outflow boundaries of 30 or 40 miles per hour just for a few minutes, but that's something also to keep in mind. It played a role yesterday in some of the lightning starts on the Sierra front. On Thursday, that boundary and that front move a bit further to the east across uh, the Ely's area of Nevada into parts of central Utah. That is where we will focus our high risk uh, on that day. And you can see the band of uh, thunderstorms getting a bit wetter where you see the pink shades through there. So we did not high risk all areas, but in these uh, lighter precip amounts, this is where we are most concerned. Again, wetter storms to the north, drier on the southern periphery. Again gusty outflow winds, we see the reds, but otherwise outside those zones, 5 to 15 mile an hour winds. Friday, the trough kind of uh, develops across the area. You see some lingering uh, clouds and showers through here. Um, our dryness levels, some of it modified from the recent uh, precipitation across parts of Nevada. Um, humidity wise, uh, near 10% in southern areas. Uh, teens a little bit further north and 20% up in Idaho. Again, where you see these wind bands, this is where we could have still some afternoon lightning activity. We'll have to monitor that. Precipitation over the next three days, again, fairly light. The first shade of green is not a wetting rain. It's just a few hundredths of an inch. The darker shades of green are wetting rains, uh, so they'll be mixed in there. Now on Saturday, a deeper low pressure system comes through. Winds will start increasing across northwest Nevada. We have issued high risk for winds in those areas, and some of those areas would have received lightning in the previous day or two, so that's a concern. Uh, the low, unseasonably deep, pushes further southwards. We see widespread threat of winds. We have high risk for a good portion of the southern half of the geographic area and some of our critically dry fuels. Adjacent areas of Arizona uh, also have it, as well as Colorado. And then on Monday, deep low pressure through here. And this should bring cooler temperatures, higher humidity. So we have not high risk everything yet. And the low uh, departs on Tuesday, uh, cool northwest flow and uh, below normal temperatures behind it. Seven day precipitation totals. Most of this will be in the first three days. Eight to 14 day outlook, cooler than normal as we go July 1st to July 7th. 
Wetter than normal signal continues for our northern areas of Idaho, western Wyoming, even northern Nevada. Again, unusually dry and a delayed monsoon across the south. This concludes our briefing. Have a great day.